Author, coach, and business strategist, Shelley Hitz, is a special guest for my What I Love Most journaling theme. Her entire interview is available to Color Your World Journal Club members in their private Facebook group. Each month, special guests are interviewed and share how journaling has transformed their lives and businesses. Learn more about the club and the 12 gorgeous journals that are featured this year at ColorYourWorldJournal.com. And you can learn more about Shelly on her website at ShellyHits.com. And now, listen to a clip from my interview with Shelly. So this month's theme, uh, we, we're, we have 12 journals in our Color Your World series, Shelly. And so we're, I'm picking one of them each month, one of the themes, and just focusing on that with, our, with some journaling prompts, you know, the gals might use and special guests that can just speak to that. So, you know, for you, you, were, you I think you, that resonated with you in some way. I was asking different gals that, that would be interested in being interviewed to pick a topic, and, and you chose the what I love most. And so maybe tell us a little bit why that spoke to you and, and how that's, uh, especially in relation to any journaling that you've done. Yeah, I just um, really have come into a season of self-care and really just learning to not neglect myself and the things that I love. I'm very much um, a driven person, like on the Strength Finders 2.0 test, I am achiever activator. So I am driven, 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 and I can be a workaholic. And so the last year, it was June of 2016, I really started getting into art. It was, it was, it started because of, I added coloring pages to my book, Broken Crayon Still Color. So it was an action, I, you know, getting things done, but it turned into realizing, I love this. <laughs> I haven't done this for, since junior high and I love it. And now I have an art studio in my home, but mm -hmm. I think, you know, just really being able to journal and become more self-aware and be able to process to know it's like, what are the things that I love? What are life giving to, what is life giving to me? And it's okay, you know, it's okay to, and it's really healthy to do those things <laughs> and to have those, those life giving things. I used to talk to, um, I used to be a physical therapist and I talked to my patients sometimes like, I was almost like I was a counselor sometimes, but you know, I worked in a factory and I would treat patients that had injuries and I would say, it's kind of like you have this green light and a red light. Green light are those things that you love, that are life-giving, that you just come away from and you're just like, yes, it fills your heart. And then you have those other things that are like the red light. So for them, working in a factory was like a red light. So I always encourage them to have other things, other hobbies that they did that they loved. So a lot of them did gardening, or reading or playing with their grandkids or whatever and so that's what this month is all about is really journaling getting clear and just finding those things that you really love and so yeah. I don't know I just I love the topic 